Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So sorry we're uh, five minutes late, six minutes late. We have just, we are, uh, we have a big secret that's coming soon. And so we were just frantically, frantically working on the secret. So we're so sorry we lost track of time. I have to go to the bathroom. It's a great start to the day. The neighbor's playing a piano. Oh, it's distracting to me. I'm sure it's just like, you know, music, not at an actual piano, but maybe it sounds like there's a say, piano next door. Yeah, maybe we could say, can we not have it right next to our wall? We'll see. Hello, everyone. It's almost like it's pointed at our wall. So. All right. So exciting. You guys will stay tuned for social media. We're going to uh, start talking about the secret that we have. And it's exciting. And we have been working feverishly tirelessly ridiculous and i mean the person i've been talking to one person she cannot believe what we what we're doing i'm like i know i know we're amazing good morning everyone happy friday all right we have got uh the most gorgeous grand prize for the next drawing which will be november 1st this is life under the sea one of my patterns available on ravelry i love the way that i did it like there's i mean i love the patterns that i do but sometimes some are just more exciting than others in my opinion this one i would definitely wear it in a seven series it was before seven series were around two seven series would be gorgeous or you could do it out of alexandra the art of yarn which is what we're gifting it with originally we did it i think this was for a design it was an inspirations club that's why it's that yeah um so we have one beautiful skein of alexandra the art of yarn in moonbeam pantone 2019 i love this living coral was the name of the color that um year i think it's so pretty and we do i don't think we have the moonbeam anymore but we have some beautiful midnight um pantone 2019 just a couple skeins left in stock because this was a limited edition and I think she's done redying it for us. Several times. I think she said I can't do coral anymore. I'm sick of it. <laughs> right. And then we also are pairing it with one skein of Agate Beach in moss green. Beautiful. I love the flecks of silver that you get in the Agate Beach. It's a perfect opportunity to use some of your... Uh, stash come in if you need help pairing it with something but it's really nice the way that it's knit it fits your neck nicely and kind of ruffles like a necklace very very pretty um, it's knit up on a uh, all the way up to an eight needle and in fact that's what our gauge is done on an eight needle just to let you guys know because we're using multiple um needle sizes for that so how you get entered into the drawing for the grand prize every time you make a purchase on our website knitteekyarns.com or you can uh, give us a call our number is 916-714-7719 or we are open our boutique is open here in northern california tuesday through saturday from 11 to 5 p.m and we will be doing the drawing live on the first which is exciting um, Susan's, we've had quite a few people knit this project. It's really cute on. Susan's knit it twice. Whoa. Or she's knit it one and a half times. I don't remember if she finished number two, but I know oh. she's at least started a second one. Very nice. All right. This is, boy, it's in honor of everyone who's coming. So the next daily prize, we have Adam and Ava, one of my favorite patterns that I've designed. I love horseshoe lace. We did do it in three sizes. We actually used mini skeins, but we thought this would be even more fun using silk garden solo. You don't have to change the colors and you are just going to keep going, going, going until you have enough to do the border and finish it off. Very, very beautiful. The silk garden solo. This is color number S205. Beautiful. This is a sport weight yarn. I love the colors in that one. 
So the, there's fuchsia and purple, some gray, um, and it will stripe. And because of the way the yarn is dyed, you're gonna see some really beautiful movement with the pattern. Um, how you get entered into the drawing for the daily prize. You know who I think is there? His dad. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, so every time you react to the video, which honestly, you guys know we love the interaction, you're gonna get one entry for every reaction. If you uh, comment, that's the easiest way because the interaction's great for you and I, and then we can kind of tailor what you need or are looking for in the video. You are gonna get five entries for every comment. And the easiest or quickest way to get it is just share it. You can share it now with shares to your friends um, or you can share it to your stories. Super easy to do. You have to pop back in and write sh where you shared it to. Good morning, Chris. And you're gonna get 11 entries for um, doing that each share, which is, and then we're able to go back in and see who's sharing and where, and then we can see if they have a need for questions. A lot of times we're answering questions in other groups, um, just to see if we can get people as excited as we are. So this is based off of yesterday's video with Anna and Susan. And let's see who's gonna be, oh, Marlene was watching. Oh, Pam. I always say Pam Laramie, but Pam Brawell Laramie. Pam, I can't quite remember if you're local, local-ish, or far no, away. She's on the East Coast. So, for local pickup, you stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you're not local and it's a little too much work to stop by then the next time you place an order at natikyarns.com just put in the notes that you have a prize and we'll send it out with your order in one happy pink package and then it will start making its way to you and i swear our east coast peeps get packages faster than people who are in like southern california like, i think in the really? midwest really? for sure <laughs> there must be plants that just go directly there Congratulations, Pam. Super exciting. Okay, we're moving on. We have yarn and accessories. I'm doing accessories first because I know there's people on here that are going to love this one accessory. I thought you might do those first. Yeah, so when I was at the trade show in Chicago, I found a French um, accessory company and they have some of the cutest things. So I bought... Uh, a few just to see how people, um, just see how people like them. So the very first thing are these great um, measuring tapes. Here's one of the things that I liked about it. The, the quality is amazing on them, but they have a little clasp. It's almost like a gigantic lobster clasp. Um, and it can go on your bag so that you don't lose it. Or what I've been doing is putting it in the zipper of my accessory bag. So then it's already there. It spins. The quality is super nice. Pull it out. And they're tiny. They're not big ones. They have a metric on one side. What is it? Imperial on the other? I just say inches because I don't ever remember. Inches on the back. We have different ones. This is kind of more of a sewing theme, but that's okay. There is one that's mm -hmm. not. I know. So we have yellow scissors and a button. We have the red with a sewing machine. Um, okay, I know this one's a pin cushion, but it kind of looks like a hat with a bunch of ne knitting needles stuck in it. Yeah. Because I have knitter brain. Then we have this pretty kind of cornflower blue to periwinkle that's got like a little shirt with the sewing needle. This is an automatic tape measure, superior quality, like I said, and then the tape is polyfibers and flexible so it will not stretch, wrap, or tear. 
that not stretching is really important because there's nothing like thinking that you're measuring accurately and finding out that, oh, actually, no, mm -hmm. this is terrible. Oh, and you got all this? Yeah, because there's five, right? One, two, three, four, yes. five. Six. Oh, no, we're missing the... No, I feel like they're doubled. Yeah, no. They have two, two. Oh, okay. There's double of two of them. I'm trying to count columns from here and yeah. going, there's six columns. Where? Oh, never mind. Okay, the next thing are... So adorable for the cat people. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Nobody on this video is included in that. At first <laughs> glance, when you look at these scissors, okay, first of all, I love that they have a point. They are sharp. It looks like a butterfly. Just the shape, right? It's a beautiful, pretty blue and yellow butterfly. And then you go in close. With two lovey-dovey kitties. And their little paw prints. The little circles in the background kind of look like little yarn balls. This is actually a cat shape. Oh, look at the nose right there. Yes. So this is a cat shape. The whiskers. Here's the ears. Here's the, the nose, the whiskers, and the eyes. Oh my God. I need one of every color. Give no, me, seriously. Give me, give me. They're I didn't so see cute. that when they were still in the shrink wrap. <laughs> they come in three different colors. There's blues, there's the red and pink, there's oranges. Susan, your sister needs this one. And then there is the pink and purple. Oh my god, I didn't see the face before. Excuse me, I need four new pairs of scissors. No, they're so cute. You guys didn't see these. I thought you saw them. I didn't see the faces. Oh yeah. Because they were in shrink faces. wrap. So it's like, I just saw the butterfly and then the two little cats on top. They are very sharp snips. You wouldn't, for the price, you wouldn't think that they are. But this is the difference in the quality that I was talking about. You can hear it. You guys turn up your volume, you guys, because you really yeah. can hear it. They're branded. I just think they're really, really well made. And they're printed on both sides. This is another one of those things I want to know how they're made. Because I'm wondering if they're made like those videos where they have the paint on top of the water and they dip the item through it. Mm, maybe. Those oh. fascinate the heck out of me. Okay, and last but not least in the new accessories. You guys know I love everything French. And I was traveling recently and I needed something like this. So this is a traveling sewing case. It's amazing. So you open it up. It's a really nice case. Very nice. It's big. You can... It has a little tape measure. It has a pair of sharp scissors. Safety pins. A sewing kit with a threader. I love how many needles are in there. I need this just because I don't know where any of my needles have gone. They're all gone. And I don't know if anyone has ever seen this. The girls had it. No, we were like, what is this weird braid? This is all your threads. So let's just say you need one of the blue. You literally just pull out that strand. And you just grab like one strand of the blue, right? You don't have to pull out the whole ply of the blue. No, you just pull out this, the strand that you need and it just will pull out from it. But look at all the different colors. You can see on the edges okay, right that's here. that's amazing. Those are all the colors that come with it. And you just pull out the number of plies that you need. It's so beautiful. I saw this for the first time um, in Europe when I bought a kit. I needed a kit to sew something. I don't remember what, but I did. That oh sounds... no, it was for the wedding. Ew. 
And so I had to buy a kit and it had, it was this brand. And I was like, oh, we need that. But it's nice and you don't have all the little tiny threads. And then you've got everything that you need. It could easily go in your knitting bag. You could just put the rest of your knitting accoutrements inside. It's big enough to hold quite a bit. I'm going to put in that first. And that just sounds so like you're not going to end up with a tangled mess of thread that mm -hmm. way. It's got Whoever first thought of that's a genius. Embroidery, three and a half inch embroidery scissors, a tape measure, 60 inches, 20 sharp needles, one braiding kit, one needle threader, and three ball safety pins. We only brought in a couple of these. It's not really um, our store. I mean, we know we're not a store sewing store, but it's practical, and that's what I love about it. And uh, you could always, you know, kick the sewing supplies over to your where your sewing stuff lives and then use that for your stitch markers and mm -hmm. scissors and a tape measure. I think it's super cute though. And now that we're getting into the holiday season, nice little uh, gifty to give to someone who does a lot of traveling. These would all be really good little stocking stuffer items. Mm-hmm. All right, we are going to be talking about a yarn that we just did a reorder on. This sold so well, and even though it is not cotton season, we had a lot of requests to um, reorder. This is Concept by Katya, the uh, Berber or Berber collection. There was a scarf by Classically Earns. Maybe Susan can find it because she's Link Ninja Pro that we did mm -hmm. years ago out of glittery yarn. And I just see it in this. Like, Ooh. it was like columns of Tricky double thing. yarn over mm -hmm. ribs. All right, Susan. That's your challenge for the day. This yarn is a 75% cotton, 18% viscose, 7% polyester beautiful it is um is it plied it is plied i thought it was chain up but it's definitely plied i think it's because of how they plied it because it's almost like they plied two or three big strands together and then a real thin metallic more tightly plied around the mm -hmm. loose ply this is a sport weight. You're gonna get about 24 stitches over four inches. Here's what's exciting though. It's machine washable. Lay flat to dry. Such beautiful colors. And here's the thing. This is perfect for the holidays without it screaming Christmas. You know what I mean? It's that little bit of glitz without too much. I do like the, the Katya Concept Collection is uh, one of their higher ends, um, but the price point doesn't reflect that. That's the nice thing. This is under $13 a skein. So this first kind of more s late summer, early fall color is um, kind of a pumpkin orange, a real pretty like goldenrod yellow, an emerald green. And then that is applied with the white and the metallic. Oh, look, there's even a little tiny bit of like a dusty purple in there. So that's 71, the very like fall harvesty color. Bless you. Excuse me. Then there's color 73 which has this beautiful soft aqua mint, a powder blue, a little bit of like a gold, slightly rust color, and then that soft blush pink. This would be great for the holidays. This is color 70, which is like an olive green, very spruce fir tree kind of color. Yeah, 
It just really makes me want to knit that scarf. I'm really hoping that Susan finds it. Otherwise, I'll deep dive for it later. Wait, our I can. It's, it's funny. I can picture book. it on the pattern that it's like a green scarf. Okay, I even love this. Twelve ninety nine, and there's that beautiful like Ralph Lauren. Those two colors, burgundy, oh, yeah. and emerald green, so attractive. This is a pretty. Uh, this is number 75. It's kind of that plum and burgundy with these little highlights of lemon yellow that really give it like that kind of sunset kind of color going on, you know, like when the sunshine is cutting through the dark clouds. Mm -hmm. There Chris, is some lag going on this morning. Yep, yeah, Chris says, wow, frozen is th for mm -hmm. this one but it was funny by the time her this is how bad the lag is this morning by the time her comment came through you had this one in your hand oh funny i love that chris says there's nothing about these yarn colors that anyone could reject they're beautiful uh let's show you some patterns that susan's finding for this oh this would be great this oh, is it's crochet. a crocheted project called string of beads this is a big one, but you could make it. I mean, you smaller. could stop anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like you could stop at like bandana cowl size, pin it together in the back, and be done. Yeah, look at that! The funness of that. Cute Wait, little puff, cute little like that. puff stitches. Mm -hmm. There's like single crochet through the back loops, or maybe half double crochet through the back loops. But that's what gives those pretty kind of ribbed looking ridges is that you're working through only half of the stitch and they're really just alternating some kind of rib lines and then that little puff stitch line then ribs then puff stitch so you could happily stop anywhere on this so where they used um they said they used a thousand yards which is that must be a huge shawl. I'm like, where's the, do they have the measurements? It's huge. Oh yeah, they did. It was like 23 by 66. You could make like a kerchief, more of a kerchief size and use, let's see, three, probably three of them. That's what I was thinking. And stripe it that way. Because you could stop anywhere on that one. It's like the same song over and over again over there too. I'm like, okay, I, wish I actually sing, yeah. like piano music, but can we play more than one song? It's a little loud. I mean, at least they're not blasting rock music. Know, we'd be having words. Okay, I love this one. Very easy. You're gonna do it in two colors. You could make it longer. Look at, but when you're cold, wrap it around cute little uh cowl there they have it a little bit longer there very like ascot mm -hmm. kind of style super cute though that'd be really fun to do with just like two colors of this S San Coast, i think is how you say it this is a sport weight oh it is thankfully done in english too I know I always get a little nervous when I see the name sometimes like, uh oh, is there an English version? Garter stitch with I-cord edges. Beautiful. That's a great project to learn the I-cord edge on too because you guys, they're really easy. But sometimes I hear people say, that sounds hard. I'm like, no, 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 it's easy, this I promise. This is a really perfect project for the this done on a six and an eight. Um, maybe the scarf is smaller, the wrap is bigger. This is, uh, they have two different sizes, but look at this. Oh, oh my gosh, I hate when it does that. Okay, it reminds me of the clafferty, but it's yarn over two togethers instead mm -hmm. of drop stitches. There you go. Uh, this next color would be gorgeous for a holiday wrap. Color number 74. This is a goes with everything kind of color. If we come in close on it, you guys can see there's a little bit of like a soft sand color, 
some silver, some pewter. So it's all very light and neutral. Very like winter wonderlandy. Um, here's another cute one for the crocheters. Um, this is a, the naturalist, which has like this really pretty, let me click on this one, really pretty shell stitch where you're working in the center of this shell. So it's very, very easy. And then they did it with this sawtooth edge where you're like, stopping short of the end of the row and going back. So you get this beautiful like boomerang style scarf. So, so pretty and would only take really three of these. It's technically enough to go into a fourth one at their yardage, but boomerang scarves can be stopped anywhere. Beautiful. Oh, they're talking about John Muir, Muir Woods. Yeah, <laughs> very fun. It's a very California worthy scarf. Mm -hmm. And here is a fun little wrap called Peppered. Oh, it's Laura Ayler. She has good patterns. Mm -hmm. It's almost like Slip seed stitch. stitch, linen stitch. Like it almost yeah. has like a double entendre going on here. You would definitely want to pick two different colors. I mean, even this would be gorgeous. Or you could do like the Barber with like Merino Cloud. Mm-hmm. That would be beautiful. So one's sparkle, one's not. And the last color in the line, which was the most popular one the first time we ordered it, is color 77, which has, ooh, come on camera, focus, the soft blush um, a little mint green, a little charcoal gray, very soft, delicate color. I, don't, I wish you guys could hear the, the comedy that is the neighbor's oh, music. Lordy. All right, and last, uh, we have a few more patterns to show you guys. This is the Curiosity Cowl. Let me show a better version. Uh, it's almost like a cowboy cowl with a um, hem top with some I-cord. It's nice, though, because you can tie it tighter or looser, depending on what you're looking for. I like the, I really like the adjustability of the mm -hmm. fit around the neck. It looks like like knit one belows or something. It has that texture. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that's cute. This is cute. Seven set. I'm sorry oh, to all the people of the really... world who I butcher the names of your stuff because I'm linguistically challenged. Well fitted, plain and simple modified raglan. T I mean, it's attractive. Nothing's fancy about this, but it's very wearable. And the increases are out here, so it doesn't look like a typical raglan. Yeah, it almost has like that set in sleeve look to it. Mm -hmm. That yarn would be perfect for this. And look, you can do it three quarter sleeve. Very, very wearable. For those of you who machine knit, you could hand knit the um, top and then rehang it. The only thing that I'm already seeing it. The rolled on. edges? Rolled edge. I'm like, that needs some ribbing Little or some garter ribbing. stitch or fold oh the gosh. hem or anything. Just something. See, for some reason, it doesn't roll on her, but you have any weight on your stomach, it's really pulley. Ooh, is it I-cord? No, I think it's just rolled. Because so I can see bind off stitches on part of it, but yeah. not here. Just do yourself a favor. Do two inches of ribbing. Call it a day. This is beautiful, though. As my shirt rolls. Mm -hmm. I'm not redoing it. It was bottom up, so it is what it is. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. 
That's what I get for following the directions. You, that was before you knew. You've learned a lot. This is beautiful. Look at the stitches on this. I can see Susan whipping this one mm -hmm. out. I mean, she's got it as a wrap, a scarf, a cowl. You can tell she's somewhere cold. We're like, what? Why would you wear it or like Or she's that? marketing to somewhere cold. <laughs> no, I'm going to say she's. Yeah, see, she's European. Oh, Denmark. Oh, there yeah. we go. It's, it's a little chilly there at times. Yeah. Maybe they're having a party since he's getting married. Oh, maybe, because there's lots of mm -hmm. conversation going on over there. Here's a great Stephen West pattern. Well, that must be an old one. Look at mitered and then some decreasing mitered. It's very uh, geometric. It looks like a transformer. It does, kind of. And last but not least, we've got a dash of shawl. This a regular one is going to take 805. You could use different colors. Look at how pretty. One, Looks two, like they used four. four. I'm going to say four Green colors. Green and then three shades of blue. Mm -hmm. So that would be a fun one, too. That is, yes, definitely. Oh, five. Well, they used five. Maybe it's got multiple options five we probably just didn't see the other one yeah one of them's blending in more okay hold on now we want to see it like I, I, now i've got to spot it no, I want to see this. oh that is cute how gorgeous is that 60s ski vibe beautiful All right, we are going to talk about what we're wearing. And remember, stay tuned. You guys look at the social media. We'll be uh, releasing some clues today with the secrets. All right, I am wearing Color Riot. Um, no. no. Oh, sorry. I wrote you guys backwards. You're Thank Roadrunner you. I'm DK. I'm wearing Roadrunner. I was like, this doesn't look like Color Riot. This no. is one of my favorites. You guys know I love. A cowboy cowl that has nothing in the back because it helps I get headaches otherwise. It does have a uh, really fun edging. Little like sawtooth garter stitch. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Lots of stockinette garter. Susan knit this one. Is this out of the new yarn? You feel this. You see the silk in it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's too many knits in here for me to keep up with. Oh, no, because this is a DK weight. So it's not one of this. We'll see what Susan did. But here's how I love wearing them like this. Now that we're kind of in that mid-season, we're, we're leaning towards fall in the morning and at night. In the day, we're in the 80s, 90s, but I'll take it over the hot. But I love this. So when you're hot, you pull it off your head. When you're cold, you put it back on. You guys know it keeps your chest warmer this way. All right, Anna is dressed like it's 115 in this gorgeous sweater. It's, this is one of my favorites that not, she's knit. It's not cold inside. This is Heliosphere, which is just a really simple tank. It is bottom up, which is why I was like, I'm not fixing it. I'm Do you guys see how it's rolling? With the flip. Yep. It doesn't flip up as much in the back because I don't bend into it all the time. Yeah. And then in the back it has the little um, like racer wrap section. And then a little cowl neck. which is. Just I feel like knit, knit, the knit. other Anna knit this. Yes, she knit it also. There were some tweaks in the pattern. Yeah, we um, like modified the armhole depths because it was like down here, which is only attractive if you're super skinny mm -hmm. it's a but it's a very pretty you could pick up and do a little sleeve on it if you wanted you could do like our little cap sleeve mm -hmm. little but you sleeve. have to be careful we turn around again because yeah, of the back you don't want to take away this razor back so beautiful out of a summer yarn all right susan susan Susan's wearing Color Riot, which is two skeins of merino cloud, and a little bit of beaded silk and 
sequence. Thank you. Words are hard. That's because we've been <laughs> I'm too tired. We've been working really hard. You guys will be amazed. Really amazed yeah. when we tell our story. Yeah, I was waiting for a comment when I said we were working tirelessly because we're all tired. That it's like, yeah, yeah, are we really tirelessly? My hands hurt. I had to stop. Yeah. <laughs> but lots of great projects for you, uh, everyone. If you weren't able to catch all the patterns that we use, please feel free to go over to our private Facebook group, Natik Collective. Let's see if I can show it real easy. Ooh, maybe it's here. No. If you go here, here. it should right be right here. at the top the because Natique I search Collective. for it all the time. There we go. That is our private Facebook group where we link all the patterns that we showcase um, every day that we do our video so lots of good things and there's so many more you guys can see Susan's done probably 20 more than what we even did but lots of goodies but thank you thank you thank you we will see you tomorrow where our secrets will be we're letting video. the cat out of the bag thanks everyone <laughs> for watching us we'll see you tomorrow have a great day bye bye